Right then, we're joined with two of the players who were involved in the 1985 FA Cup game. We've got Mel Pedic and, and Keith Hicks. Um, the weather was totally different that Saturday in January. It was absolutely freezing looking at the, the videos, and it's very warm uh, this evening. Um, the 16,000 fans were, were inside Edgar Street. Um, also, you both had long careers at Hereford. So, so, Mel, what was it like playing in front of that crowd? I think the day itself, we were, we were buzzing. We, I think we had we went to Saxes for a pre-match meal, which you don't normally do. We walked through town, and obviously the town was buzzing. You know, we turned up here, and obviously you know the stadiums were full. They had a they had this sort of stand that was sort of erected down the side there. So it's just just amazing, great great experience for for us lads. You know, and, and you know, played at this sort of level that we were at at that time to play Arsenal at the time. Um, and I think we could have gave a good account of ourselves on the day. Because you were fantastic. The, you were the centre half pairing uh, that that game. Was it, was it Paul Mariner and Tony Woodcock? You were against Paul Mariner, Charlie Nicholas, Charlie Nicholas, Charlie Nicholas, Charlie Nicholas, Nicholas yeah, Champagne yeah. Charlie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it was a bit of a duo to sort of contend with there. And I think Tony Woodcock slammed on from about 25 yards into the top corner, didn't he? Is that your fault? No, it was Kev's. Oh, Kev. right, okay. Rosie. <laughs> Rosie should have caught it. I thought, I thought you were marking it. <laughs> I thought you were marking it. I was marking Paul Mariner. It might be wrong. No, yeah, no, no. Oh, Keith, what do you remember from the goal from, from Chris Price equalising after yeah, it was just Woodcock's goal? Typical Price, he wasn't it? He was just like always up there. He was, he was going to be a right back, but he spent most of his time on right side in the field or right wing or whatever. But my recommend, um, recollection from that day is that we were warming up we could see them with the studio and they were all over the place. You could tell they didn't want to come. They didn't want to come in on that day and play against us. And we'd all worn like the normal shoes, the, uh, the simple shoes, and we were okay. We could see them in the one like falling over, slipping like that. And we thought, yeah, they don't want to be here today, so we'll give it them. Mm -hmm. to, to be fair to me, I think we should have won that game. Yeah. We, should have, we should have definitely won that game. Uh, if we'd have scored it at the last minute like we should have, we'd have been like, the new Eagles, the new Newcastle Eagles. So, you know, we had to put up with that for a long time, didn't we? Newcastle this, Newcastle that, didn't we? <laughs> and we could have been, you know, every time you watch an FA Cup program, it's probably like us against Arsenal. To be well, then, ultimate goal, and all that kind of stuff. So, because in the second half, Jimmy Hart just pulled the strings in midfield, yeah. and even he was just, he was dominating the centers. Yeah, we had, we had a good team then. I think we controlled long periods of that game, and, uh, you know, sometimes it's small margins that determine them, them sort of games. And so, as Keith said, we, I thought we were a bit unfortunate really not to win the game. But then, you know, you have to do it, don't you? You have to sort of take opportunities when they come along. So, yeah, we, it was a great day, great experience. Uh, just a pity we didn't do what we, we should have done. And how does it feel to be back? Oh, it's great. You already know me, I go watching all the games on the north, don't I? So, I just love watching this club play. And the fans are second style. I mean, we've only watched here about what, 10 15 minutes. Mm. We've been approached about three or four times already. Yeah. You know, like, and obviously, we're looking a bit different than what we did like 30 odd years ago. But it's still, it's still cool to talk. It's, it's really good. My thing on Jimmy Harvey was he, he got released from the Arsenal, didn't he? Yeah. He came here from Arsenal. He's probably sure more to come. He's probably sure more to come. Yeah. We were like normal, we were like a team game, and Jimmy was like, I'm Jimmy Harvey. Well, <laughs> yeah, we should have been here.